Hey guys, my name is Evie Claire and I am here in New York City in the Cutting Room Studio. Two years ago when I was on America's Got Talent, I was introduced to a concept which I like to call the Coldplay Effect. I have brought my friend Posha and Lung here. He's a mathematician and hopefully he can help explain why this concept works and maybe help you guys learn how to do it too. Before we talk to Poe about this, I just want to play a song for you guys in two different versions, with the Coldplay effect and without the Coldplay effect. In the key of C, you have C, E, G hmm, for your C nice. chord. Yeah, it's just the bass, um, and you can do it on both hands. But basically what I found is when you play a song with just the simple chords, it sounds right, and it's harmonious, and it's okay. But when you add the Coldplay effect on it, you can do something to make it sound a little bit more interesting. That sounds a lot more interesting. When you have the first chord in the sequence, I take the fifth, which would be the G, this is one, three, five. Mm -hmm. I take the fifth and I play an octave. So mm. that means I just play... That almost sounds like one note. Right. Because they're the same. It's the same yeah. note. So I'm playing a G on the top and a G on the bottom. And then I'm going to play the root of the chord, which is a C. So again, this is the regular chord. Right. And then this is the new chord. So I'm taking out this third and just doing fifths. And so the situation is with these two. One of these makes three cycles of pulsing at the same time as one of these makes two cycles of pulsing. That's exactly what this fifth does. And the fact that this three and two are so close to each other is actually why your brain thinks that they sound really nice. Because it's like your brain sensed that they caught up with each other again after just a few cycles. So basically when I do that fifth transition, um, what would I call it? The Coldplay effect. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I'm keeping this top chord the same the whole time. Mm. Like I'm doing the octave of the fifth. Right. And then keeping the root C. And then on the bottom, you could really do whatever you want. More Cs. More Cs, exactly. Yeah. And then I'm just going with the chord progression on the bottom to A those minor. Are Gs. This is an A minor. Oh. So this is an A on the oh, bottom. A's. Yes. So it says to play an A minor like this, mm -hmm. but instead I'm keeping this oh. root of the C chord that we did first and then playing the A on the bottom. Give me a million reasons to let you go. Give me a million reasons to quit the show. Give Wow! <laughs> I think it's really interesting that you've discovered this. Like somehow your ears are noticing what sounds really nice. I go to school and I kind of learn all these principles about math and wonder like, when am I ever going to use this? And this has helped me realize that math is in a lot of the things that I do and I don't even realize it. You give me a million reasons to let you go. 